Greetings and salutations. My name is Del Tran, and the new banner for Fire Emblem Heroes just got revealed. Let's go ahead and talk about the uh, new uh, Mystery of the Emblem Heroes, and I will offer to you some of my opinions on these guys. First one up is Katrina. She's a Red Tome user, and her skills get progressively more interesting as you go down. She's the uh, Red Owl Tome user, so now we finally have access to that. That's pretty cool, although honestly, I'm not a fan of these tomes. Uh, she has Glacies, which is nice. Uh, it implies she's going to have a decent resistance, and so maybe she will be a mage killer of some sort. I'm moving my face out of the way preemptively. That was poor planning. But look, she has Swift Sparrow, guys! Swift Sparrow on a non-exclusive unit. Oh, so exciting. I got tired of looking at how Swift Sparrow was the perfect thing to, for other heroes and to just not have access to it anymore. It was so terrible, but now... It, it is here. Uh, let's hope that it works, on, works out well on her, right? And now this is the uh, skill down here that we're going to really take a look at because this is sort of a common theme throughout all of these heroes. Uh, attack ploy is, talks about uh, anybody in a cardinal direction with has a resistance of one more or one lower than the current unit also gets minus five attack. Uh, assuming that she has a high uh, resistance score, this is a big middle finger uh, and a huge cross across the uh, field. Take a, take a look at that line again. Uh, all foes in cardinal directions. Cardinal directions are north, south, east, and west, and so not the diagonals. And it doesn't say immediately adjacent, which would exclude diagonals because it's not just immediately adjacent. It's the whole darn column. It's the whole, whole darn row. That is fantastic. That's a great way for this unit to support other units without having to be anywhere near the fighting, which is amazing. I love the notion of that skill, and I think that arena teams, hopefully if the AI doesn't screw up too bad, will end up being screwed up if you go up against one of these guys on the defense. It's... It, I, I, I like this, and I like all the other skills that are like it coming up. Uh, next, we're going to talk about Roderick. I've heard a uh, a lot, there seems to be a lot of fans of Roderick, and honestly, I, I, I love his armor, cloak, uh, cape, coat. I don't know what you call that style, but I like it. He comes with a, the Fire Sweep Lance, so it's just like uh, the other Fire Sweep weapons we've been, we've been seeing where you can't uh, counterattack, and that unit can't counterattack. I hope that means that he doesn't have a good speed. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, he also has Rally Defense and Resistance, just the uh, the counter to uh, Bride Cordelia, which we will be losing at the time this banner comes out. That That's pretty cool. A lot of people downplay Defense and Resistance, but you know what? Just hold that thought a moment. Uh, comes with Drag Back, and finally he has def Drive Defense 2, or as I like to call it, uh, Ward for Schmucks, because it gr everybody within three spaces gets, or two spaces gets three defense, and between between that and the Rally Defense Resistance, I think that this is enough of a uh, buff to be able to actually make defense matter. This is also another screw you in defensive teams. It's going to throw off people's calculations. So I'm pretty excited for uh, this particular character. Uh, Athena, uh, she's exciting because she's another Wu Dao user. Uh, Wu Dao is a nice little blade that came on Corel originally. Grants plus 10 damage whenever you make... Uh, uh, a special go off in combat and look look at that that's moonbo that's moonbo that's what everybody inherits anyway that's amazing i mean that's that's what's on my draw courtesy of corral uh then we're taking a look at sturdy blow too that's interesting it is continuing the theme of defense with all of these heroes and i do believe that it probably has a place but i on the surface i'm not super impressed i will be honest <laughs> but it is nice to see such a diverse buff going on there, and I am interested to see how the numbers play out with this particular character. It seemed like Corel was a gentleman and let the aggressor come at him first so that he could go ahead and retaliate with reprisal. It definitely looks like you want to let the lady go first in this case and just tear crap up. Uh, and then we have uh, Sword uh, Expertise 3. Thank goodness. Not thank goodness. Uh, and then we have Luke, and this is uh, our new Kane. basically. He has Brave Sword Plus, he comes with Bonfire. Hopefully that means he has a good defense. 
He has fire boost three. This is pretty interesting. If he has more hit points, and this is his big theme, if he has more hit points by three, he'll get an attack bonus of six uh, during combat. So I think that this character is going to be a uh, candidate for renewal for sure. Maybe even be, uh, give him your uh, HP seal. This That seems really great. It, essentially, if you could just keep his hit points high, he's always going to have a six bonus. That I, I like that. That's a lot nicer than the skills where you get seven bonus whenever you're low on hit points. It's just a really good skill. I am excited for this one because it, it, it happens on the defense as well. That's what makes this so enticing. Is it, It's always there. You don't have to worry about, is this a player turn guy? Is this a uh, enemy turn guy? No, he is a turn guy. He, he likes turns. And then we also have a planet, panic ploy three for him. If he has more hit points and everybody in the cross of death, they go ahead and, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, all the uh, pen, uh, all the bonuses they have on them turn to penalties. So it's basically you know harsh command on an entire column and row. Wow, talk about things being screwed up. <laughs> That's great. Now it doesn't happen on the diagonal, which is a very common attack ve vector for mages. So you definitely have to hope if they're on your defensive team that you're positioning people, uh, that the AI positions people in the columns and down corridors and if you're actually using this to stop someone else from buffing their Nino or Tharia or anyone you need to make sure that you are getting them down a nice straight column. Uh, of course we're getting another uh, paralogue with this. It seems like there's some new characters introduced with this one that's pretty cool. I wonder if they're just going to become Grand Hero Battle people eventually maybe because right now we have not a clue who the next Grand Hero Battle Champion will be. So take a look for that. I think that these skills are very exciting. The defensive theme is there. I think that there is potential once again to break the one hit meta and try to introduce some back and forth and some additional tactics that are required. But we'll see. There's also some potential here just to be able to, to dampen other people's teams and to be able to one hit them in peace. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the uh, comments section. Until next time, take care.